Hi there. Today I'm making roasted butternut squash. This is such an easy side dish and the roasting alone brings out an incredible flavor. So for this recipe, all you're gonna need is a butternut squash, some olive oil, salt and pepper. I like to keep it simple. This recipe is savory. You can add some cinnamon or nutmeg, but in this case, we're gonna stick with this. So to show you how to start, you're gonna preheat your oven to 400 degrees and then get a very sharp knife. This is a kitchen tool that everyone should have. I have a couple of these and keep them far away from little hands in a drawer, but it's just, it's really necessary for something like the butternut squash, which has the really thick skin. So I've started by cutting off the ends of the squash, and then I've just worked my way to peel, peel away the skin. Just go slowly. It's not that hard, it doesn't take that long, but make sure that you remove, I don't know if you can see these little green lines, Make sure that all the green is removed. There's a little bit there, and that's just tough and fibrous. You're gonna to wanna to just remove that. Then you can cut it in half, and then cut it like this again. And then you work in sections to create the cubes. But in this half of the squash, you are gonna find the seeds. So you're gonna to wanna to take your spoon, scoop those out, and if you wanna reserve them to make roasted seeds, then I have a recipe for that that's coming soon. So go ahead and do that. Just put them in a bowl of water, use your fingers to work away the seeds and get them all out of your squash. And then just keep making the cubes. Then you're gonna lay the cubes on a baking sheet in a single layer, drizzle with your olive oil, just a little bit, not too much, and the salt and pepper, and then bake for about 40 minutes. That's all you have to do. And it will come out like this. It yields so much and it's delicious. It's caramelized and just a great, great thing to add as a side dish or in a salad and they're in season right now. So happy cooking. I'll see you next time.